Are you wondering what's the best wireless router for this year? If so, stay tuned, because by the end of this short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. This list was made based on our personal views and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about the product shown, be sure to check out the description below. One last thing before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest product reviews from the channel. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the TP-Link AC3150 Wireless Router. The TP-Link AC3150 is designed for homes that require enough bandwidth to handle gaming, video streaming, and multiple clients connecting at the same time. Design-wise, the AC3150 features a two-tone, gloss black, matte black finish and has dimensions of 1.5 by 10.4 by 7.8 inches and uses four removable adjustable antennas and is powered by a 1.4 GHz Broadcom processor. In addition, the router is lightweight and the back features four LAN Gigabit ports and one Gigabit WAN port which are easily accessible. The side has buttons for reset, Wi-Fi on-off and WPS, along with a USB 3.0 port and a USB 2.0 port for network storage, file sharing, a printer or mobile device charging. Everything is laid out nicely giving you convenient access whenever you need it. Optimized for strong performance, the Archer C3150 version 2 delivers powerful Wi-Fi up to 3150 megabit per second for 4K streaming and online gaming. Like most routers, the C3150 is controlled using a web-based management console. It contains a straightforward menu system that makes it easy to set up and configure your router. Basic settings include a network map, five types of internet connections, wireless settings for naming each SSID and assigning passwords, USB settings for creating a media server, and enabling folder and file sharing. Parental controls that allow you to filter content using keywords and a section for creating guest networks. With Smart Connect, the router will automatically place each device on either the 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz network, whichever has the better signal. Airtime fairness helps speed up networks with older devices connected. The C3150 also includes MooMimo for fast simultaneous connections and beam forming to focus Wi-Fi directly on devices. The star feature of the Archer C3150 is probably the home care antivirus powered by Trend Micro, which protects every single device on your home network from the latest threats with powerful security, antivirus, and parental controls. Overall, TP-Link Archer C3150 is a great wireless router which can support over 800 megabit per second over Wi-Fi if you have a good receiver. It also delivers really good wireless coverage and has no problem supporting over 30 devices connected simultaneously. At number 4 is the Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi system. Sometimes, no amount of prime router placement can get you decent Wi-Fi coverage throughout your house. Netgear isn't the first to try and solve this problem, but its new Orbi Wi-Fi system tackles it pretty handily. Design-wise, while it's referred to as a single product, Netgear Orbi is technically comprised of two parts, the Orbi router and the Orbi satellite. Both 1.96 pound or 889 gram devices are nearly identical, adorable pylons of white matte plastic. Their only differences lie in which ports are included in which unit and the router sporting a blue top versus the satellite's pure white. After pressing the sync button on each, the two devices will begin to communicate, and that's when the magic happens. Underneath those separated plastic lids are LED rings that illuminate in different colors and pulses to indicate how their connection is doing. A solid blue ring indicates a strong stable connection, an amber ring details a fair connection, i.e. move the satellite a bit closer, and a magenta ring indicates a poor connection, i.e. move it a lot closer. Finally, you log into the Orbi system settings via your browser to orbilogin.com with the information on the bottom of the router and set up your SSID. From there, your home should be covered in Wi-Fi that gives off the same speeds from floors or walls away as it does from within 5 feet of your router. The Orbi router and its satellite broadcast three distinct bands of Wi-Fi signal, one at 2.4 GHz and another at 5 GHz, and then another 5 GHz band that's locked off from normal access. It's through this second hidden 5 GHz band that the router delivers its Wi-Fi signal to the satellites and back, and thus doesn't take up the same bandwidth being used by your various devices. To conclude, for those that own large houses or even small houses or apartments with thick walls, the Netgear Orbi can coat your whole property in consistently strong Wi-Fi signal. It's one router that won't let you down. At number 3 is the Asus Blue Cave AC2600. 
The Asus Blue Cave is a dual-band Wi-Fi router that's geared towards smart homeowners, with its support for Amazon Alexa and IFTTT. It also includes built-in trend micro antivirus and network protection for greater peace of mind. Let's take a look. Aesthetically, the Asus Blue Cave's design is indeed very different from any other products in the same category. Being a router that is created for homes, it should also complement with any part of your home. As for function, you get 1 gigabit WAN port for internet, 4 gigabit LAN ports for your wired devices, and 1 USB 3.0 port for printers, network storage, or charging your mobile devices. There are also a few smaller buttons for WPS, Wi-Fi Protected Setup, Reset, and Power. Asus did a great job designing a cool-looking device while incorporating all the ports and buttons you need. Setting up the Blue Cave was easy from either the Asus router app or its web interface. Just use an Ethernet cable to connect the router to your modem and you're ready to go. Setup should only take a few minutes with either method. Performance-wise, it provides excellent speed and coverage. On 2.4 GHz, it performed at more than 165 megabit per second from 50 feet or 15 meters and two rooms away. That means you should get good coverage in a medium to a large home. One of the main selling points of this router is that it comes with advanced parental controls, commercial-grade home network security, easy-to-use and intuitive PC interface, as well as full controls using the Asus router app. A really cool feature is that the Blue Cave works with Amazon Alexa and IFTTT, if this then that, for voice-controlled and automated smart features. Alexa can turn your guest Wi-Fi network on or off, pause your internet, reboot the router, turn on various network prioritization modes, check for firmware upgrades, and connect new devices. Overall, if you're after a wireless router solution, then you have to seriously take a look at the Asus Blue Cave AC2600 dual-band Wi-Fi router. You won't be disappointed. At number 2 is the Netgear Nighthawk Pro Gaming XR500. Netgear and NetDuma teamed up to create a gamer's delight inside a futuristic-looking router. The XR500's speed and range are more than enough for a medium to large home. The Duma OS interface has a lot of customization options and helpful hints for even novice router users. Take one look at the design and you would immediately see that the Netgear Nighthawk XR500 gaming router means business. With its angular shape and futuristic design, its four amplified antennas screw onto the router's back and side. They can be aimed and swiveled to grab the strongest signal, but they are numbered and need to be in the correct location or performance will suffer. At the rear, it has four LAN ports and one WAN ports, all rated at Gigabit Ethernet. The XR500 is based on Qualcomm's QC A9984 Wi-Fi chip. The Nighthawk comes with 512 megabyte of RAM and 256 megabyte of flash storage space, and sports 1.7 gigahertz dual-core processor. The dual-bound router can move up to 800 megabits per second in 2.4 gigahertz mode as well as up to 1,733 megabit per second in 5 gigahertz mode for a theoretical limit of 2.533 gigabit per second. The XR500 has an array of speed-boosting techniques using NetDuma's Duma OS software. The XR500's quality of service or QoS feature is for prioritizing bandwidth. You can hog all the bandwidth for a gaming session or apportion it more equally to other connected systems. My favorite is the one-click box that gives one system, presumably mine, top dog status for bandwidth. The XR500 uses double width, 160 MHz data channels and dynamic frequency selection, or DFS, to automatically pick the clearest data channel to transmit on. This can effectively squeeze more data into Wi-Fi's limited frequencies. Plus, its powerful Wi-Fi transmissions make it a good choice for those in older homes with thick walls. To conclude, the Netgear Nighthawk XR500 Pro Gaming Router is for those who take their online gaming seriously with a high-throughput, low-latency design. All told, the XR500 delivers ultra-performance data delivery that could be the difference between winning or losing. At number one is the Asus Whole Home Dual Band Router. If you're looking for a sub-$200 router to bring fast Wi-Fi to your home, put the Asus RT-AC1900 router on your shortlist. It's ideally suited for medium to large homes. From a design aspect, the first thing you'll notice about the Asus router is its stylish looks. Unlike most of its competitors, the RT-AC68U stands upright, displaying a pattern of diamond shapes. The Asus RT-AC68U features three substantial antennas that can be angled to provide an optimally directed Wi-Fi signal. 
On the back side of the device, you'll find a series of ports and buttons that allow for internet connectivity and add useful functionalities to the router. Most importantly, the RTAC68U features a gigabit WAN port for connecting to your modem. It also includes four gigabit LAN ports. These allow you to hardwire devices like desktop computers, gaming consoles, or other HD media streaming devices to your network for the fastest speeds. As with all the best units, the RTAC68U is a dual-band router. This means that it broadcasts both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. Two bands on separate frequencies mean that you will have fewer devices competing for bandwidth and improved overall speed on your wireless network. In addition, on the 5 GHz band, you'll benefit from the new 802.11ac Wi-Fi standard. This Wi-Fi standard boasts speeds up to three times faster than the previous generation at 1300 megabit per second. While it's unlikely that you'll reach these speeds in the real world, 802.11ac is always going to be significantly faster, and buying a router that supports it is a great way to future-proof your network. Once configured, you'll have access to one of the most compressive browser-based router interfaces that we've seen. Although the sheer number of adjustment options can be a little daunting, we found navigating the interface to be quite intuitive. We must mention, the parental controls on the RTAC68U are fantastic. Using a scheduler found under the Parental Controls tab, you can block out specific times for specific devices, thus limiting the amount of time your kids spend online. Overall, for advanced and professional users, the ASUS RT AC68U Dual Band Wireless AC1900 Gigabit Router is worth every penny thanks to its stellar performance, solid build, and bounty of useful features. And that's why it tops our list. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Catch you soon.